23 next time. <laughs> I was like, that's so cool. It's so uh, bad. Uh, cool. Well, can I ask? I'm sorry. Blue. Is there something it's associated with it? It's a color. You okay. can yeah, describe like, it as an emotion. You can. So, did, well, what, what I started wondering was whether the shh relates to the blue. I sort of really feel like rain. You know? Oh! Like, I got a feeling for like. Well, nice. So, like, rain and emotion. I just okay, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's related to rain, I can easily understand that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Isabel, yes. a couple things. Mm -hmm. um, classic discussion we have all the time. Kind of want to have either flats or sharps in a given measure. Like you measure seven? Yes. My G flats would probably be happier if they were F sharps. Okay. You see that it's sort of, it's sort of counterintuitive when you're looking at a flat to look at a sharp as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and then also you've got pizzicato for me at measure five or four. Yeah. It seems like is it still pizzicato at eight? Um at eight. Oh I forgot to put that back to then you just go back to the regular shape. Okay. Okay. And then there's another thing. Yeah. Pizzicato when you see a staccato note. Uh -huh. you see kind of There's not much you can do to make it shorter than it already. I mean, it's a, yeah. it's a subtle thing. Measure 37. Can you make it a little more powerful? Like, all. I think this was where he Chris. asked you to not do the slurs, right? Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, make more it punchy now. Dumb, yes. Dumb. more rhythmic. No, uh, I don't want it so smooth Thanks. and yeah. free. Okay. I want it. Err. Right. More rhythmic. <laughs> that's, that's a good description. Yeah. <laughs> and so just ignore the mezzo forte. Just make them a forte. Like okay. make, make the entries noticeable. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, measure <laughs> five. Can you um? Violin too. Can you play the your entry just a little louder? A little more. Yeah. Okay. Mm, and your life anymore, but I just want to know what are you going for there? Do you want do you want a glissando? Do you want a harmonic? Do you want a harmonic glissando? Do you want something like that? Yeah. Okay. In that case, then you should write a harmonic on this note also, which would look like this, just like that. Right. But you do it there. It's a little tricky to do that, but it's totally cool and I understand it. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Tomasina in 29. So in 28 I've got... Then do I continue that sound in 29? So... I mean, depending Ooh, nice. on where I'm coming from. Kind of what you mean? I see the first one is what I mean. The a little more pitch. A little higher. Okay, a little more pitch. So yeah. it's not noise anymore in that measure. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you, take a look at it in 20, 28 and 29. Then I, Dorothy would probably disagree with me, but I might suggest saying um, no more noise or something like writing that. Actual or or, or or ordinary, yeah, that's good. Or D, just write or D after mm -hmm. the scratch, yeah. so that I don't keep making it's, noise sounds through that part. It's probably a good idea, actually, just in general, if you're going to write in um, extra techniques, you know, mm -hmm. things that aren't standard playing styles, uh, write or after they're done. I measure 27. When you guys Blasano, you guys have a trio. Can you Blasano going down and go back up? Oh. So, do you want to start right from the top, like... Yeah. Okay. And trilling the whole time. That's yeah. measure 27? Yeah. 27, okay. 28, 29, 30. What beat you have your own part? Okay, well, at uh, 29, mine, yeah. it's so low, I can't go very far. Is that good? It's actually... Good. That's where it is. Octave higher? Yeah. Hello, my name is Tomasini Yellowman, and this is my third time in NACAP. 